Hey Google, start vacuum. All right, starting Roomba. Hey Google, return Roomba home. Sure, docking Roomba. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parenting Training. So today I'm gonna unbox this, a new uh, vacuum bundle that I bought off iRobot. And this one is the S9 Plus with the empty tray. And also I have this Brava Jet, this M6. The only way I can get the matching color is get through the bundle. Otherwise, uh, they do sell it separately. And uh, if you wanna just buy the Brava Jet M6, it was just in the white color. Not only that, uh, right now they have a huge sale. Usually the retail price for this two combined is over $1,600. <laughs> yeah, this is really expensive. In this holiday season, they not only knock it down to uh, $1,150, but also Rakuten has a 2% cash back, plus the Chase Freedom, if you have Chase Freedom credit card and you use it through PayPal, then you get additional 5% off. So yeah, there's 7% off on top of whatever the iRobot is offering. So let me unbox each one of this and then we're gonna run some tests. Now, uh, before I do that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It will really help our channel. First thing first, let me open up the S9 Plus. Okay, here's the instruction. Oh, it's been taped down. That's the vacuum. Let's see. Alright, right, so we have a extra air filter, extra bag. This is the charging cable and more on this brush. Alright, uh, let's see what else we got here. Alright, here is the charging station. This is the vacuum itself. Ooh. You know, it looks nice on the website, but it looks even nicer when, when I see it in person. Alright, so this is what the S9 Plus come with. Uh, you have the vacuum, you have the charging station with the dirt dispenser and some of the spare parts. Uh, let me go open up the mop jet. Uh, so this one is... Let's see... Ooh. Look just as same as uh, the vacuum. Yeah, this is the mop. Here's the charging station. User manual. Warranty. Here's the charging cable. So single use wet mopping pad. Uh, this one they give you four. There's another one, the washable wet mopping pad. We have a cleaning agent here. So here is the Bravo Jet. 
So we have the charging station, uh, the machine itself, some of the accessories that come with it. So now let me go just kind of test out both vacuum and the mop themselves. All right, so after some hands-on tests and usage of this two, I'm really happy to report that I really, really like them. So this is some really great product. So let's talk about some of the likes and dislikes of this two. All right, first thing first, let's talk about the design. This thing has a flat front instead of the usual or the previous designs where they have the round shape. So with the flat front, it can vacuum much better against the walls or against the edges. So if you have a traditional canister handheld uh, vacuum at home, you will notice that they all have a flat front as well. There's a reason for that because it just does the job much better against the round shape. And the second thing I really like about this vacuum is that it, the battery itself lasts for a really long time. Our house is over 2,000 square foot, two floors. So each floor occupies about 1,100 square foot. So for this thing, it went around on the top floor over an hour and 20 some odd minutes the first time around. Throughout that whole entire time of vacuuming, this thing hasn't recharged itself at once. So it was really surprised to me that it will last that long. Now, if the battery does run out before it finishes job, don't worry, all right? So what it does is it will go back to its base, recharge itself, and then resume where it was left off. So technically, you don't even have to be in the house. You'll be outside because this thing is connected to a Wi-Fi. You can use the app to control the robot from outside your house and let it run through and it will just clean up all your stuff. By the time you come home, the floor is all clean. With that being said, uh, that leads me to the third point, uh, which is the charging station. The charging station is something to look at. It's always fascinating to me that uh, watching this thing return to its base. So this thing will go back to its base under three conditions. One is obviously, once it finishes the job, it will go back. Second will be if it's running low on battery, it will go back, recharge itself, and then return to resume finish its job that is intended to be. And the third will be if it's the trash bin is full, then it will dump the trash into the charging base and then resume vacuuming. So the fourth thing I really like about this vacuum, now granted, uh, mind you, we never have a robot vacuum before. So when we first got this, so we have stairs on the second floor. Uh, not just the stair going down to the first floor, but there are stairs uh, within the second floor itself. So when I first started using this, uh, having this thing mapping the whole entire second floor, my wife was freaking out because this thing was getting really, really close to the edge. And every time it gets to the edge, it just stops and then it will turn around. Hey, 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 what do we do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of vacuuming, S9 vacuums really, really well. To our surprise, it pick up hair, snacks left behind by the kid. It actually pick up all the dirt just like how a regular size Dyson vacuum would. I was surprised on how efficient and how powerful this little machine is. All right, so let's transition and talk about some of the things I like about the mop. Boy, can it mop. If you are a parent, you will know that your baby would like to grab the bottle and run with it. So what happened to ours is the same. He liked to grab his bottle after he's drinking it and then just spill the milk all over the floor. Now, sometimes I can catch him in the ad and then wipe the liquid right after but then sometime I either forget or I didn't notice that he dropped the milk so then the floor will have some hard spot afterward when the milk is hard especially the formulas and this mop can actually wipe the whole floor clean of milk so yeah I was very impressed with it unlike other robotic mops that require you to pre-mop M6 does not need to do that it does however require you to vacuum first to pick up the large debris before it start mopping the floor. And this is where the app shines. You can set one job with the S9 to go out to vacuum first and then the M6 go out to mop the floor. So you don't actually have to do multiple jobs. Another thing I noticed about mop is that it will go forward and then backward before it shoots out the cleaning solution. So this way, when it go forward first, it will detect whether or not it's a safe place for it to do its job and then it go back and then spread forward and then it will do the mopping. The mop came with a reusable pad. 
So that way, once the pads get dirty and whatnot, you can hand wash it or machine wash it and then reuse again. So you don't actually have to use all those single ones. So yeah, this is very convenient to use. Another thing about this mop that I really like is that it's super quiet. Uh, when it is running, like we were watching TV one night when it's mopping. After the show is over, we're like, wait, did, did the machine done this job? And we turn around and then the machine is already back to its base, finished with job and, and so on. All right, so that was some of the stuff that I really like about these two machines. Let's talk about some of the things I don't like about it. So for one thing, let's address the elephant in the room. These two are expensive. These are the most expensive vacuum out there so far. If you do decide to get them, make sure that you have Rakuten or have credit card that allows you to give you points because that will save you a lot of money. And other things I don't like about these machines is that for the vacuum, it gets really, really loud because it, it does a really good job in terms of suction. It uses a lot of power, so that means it produces a lot of noise. Now, you can use the app to lower the noise level, but then it will lower the suction, right? So we leave it on the auto mode, so then uh, we just let the machine to decide when to use a um, full power or half power. But either way, you're going to be noticing this thing running around your house. Now, for the mop, because the mop's supposed to mop the hard floor, right? Not the carpet. We On the second floor, we do have a hardwood floor and then carpet. So initially, I want to let it do a mapping run before it start doing job. So that way, I can set a area where it sh cannot go, uh, i.e. the carpet area. But it was, I having a hard time to just let it do the mapping run. Because every time I try to do a mapping run, it starts spreading a solution onto a floor and start mopping. I was very puzzled by that. I look at the uh, manual instruction, it doesn't tell me anything. I end up having to call them. So the, their customer service is really good. They actually open seven days a week. So I called them on a Sunday afternoon and their customer service was able to help me out. So it turns out that if you want the mop to do a mapping run only without cleaning the floor, you have to use a dry pad. So that way it knows it having a dry pad on the machine itself so it will not spray any water. Uh, so that way it will just do the mapping really quickly without doing any job at all. So if you have a home that kind of like ours where you have a hardwood floor and have a carpet on the other side, then you should definitely do a mapping run before you actually let it do a mopping session. So overall, I really like this too. And I strongly recommend if you want to get them, do so. Yeah, this are really, really good. Uh, the vacuum able to do its job just like how a regular vacuum would and the mop does mop the floor really, really well. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. And uh, until next time, bye.